In 1992, I was fascinated with the idea of deep time. Long periods of time that most of us just can't fathom. So suppose I do the, the deep time thing, the Earth is old project now, only I'm so much better with the paint that, and there are all kinds of techniques I can use now that I couldn't use then. I'm still cutting out shapes, I'm still working with encaustic, only I'm better at it, and I'm still thinking in much the same way about the richness of life on Earth over four and a half billion years. I'm Sarah Petit, and I live in Fredericton, New Brunswick, and I have been painting with encaustic for 35 years. The title of the project is Earth is Old. With plywood, you can cut out a shape, and the shape becomes the first important step in the painting. Very often, I will create the shape without any thought at all to the paint that's going to go on it and the design of the paint and the colors. Caustic paint is an ancient medium which uses beeswax melted as the binder. Something has to stick the, the pigment together and stick it down on the thing you're painting. So in, in the case of encaustic, it's beeswax. I, I tell little kids it's like painting with melted crayons. That, that's the easiest way to think about it. You can layer this, you can melt it down and make it soft and mushy. You can, you can use scrapers and trowels and knives and things like that to get inlaid effects or to get um, uh, stippled things. You can, you can get all kinds of wonderful effects. And you paint on wood because a stretched canvas wouldn't hold up under all that physical stuff. So it, it's a really interesting and exciting paint to work with and I haven't felt any urge to uh, return to the oils that I once painted with or to go on to other media. I'm working on one painting and thinking about the next one. It, it, it just goes like that. When I show this work, I hope people will share my appreciation for all those long years. Life on this planet that has been through already five what they call great dyings and the, the, the sort of pulsing of species coming into being and species dying off and things replacing things and all that wonderful life that sort of flowed like tides through four and a half billion years. And if people who see my show will realize how wonderful the, all the varied forms of life, the geologic periods and how long it took for the rocks to lay themselves down in layers, so what I'd like them to take away is a sense of wonder and curiosity as well.